Hello everyone, my name is Gayatri Strategy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to make the first video in which I'm going to help you learn spoken English. So why do you want to learn spoken English? Some people would want to learn it because they want to go overseas for office purposes, work, etc. Some people want to learn just because learning is something they like. This is their passion, learning new languages. And there are another set of people who have been mistreated because they couldn't pronounce things well, they couldn't put the grammar well and the words wherever they are supposed to be. So I thought that even though English might be easy for me, it might not be easy for everyone else. So let's get started. Okay. Um, there are numerous people who have difficulty pronouncing A. Yes, they have difficulty pronouncing A. So let me find some other ways to put it. Since the local languages in my area are Bengali and Hindi apart from English, I'm going to try to put them in both Hindi and Bengali so that the people can understand easily. So when we are using the word, uh, letter A in apple, it becomes A. But when we are pronouncing just the letter, it's A. Yeah, it's different because in English, it's not all about the pronunciation. There is slightly about the pronunciation, but the letters aren't all about the pronunciation. Okay, so A and apple. Apple. In Bengali, Amra Bangla bolte pari ato. Amra ato boli to ato beshi. So ato je ata ache. Apple and a. Apple, ato. Okay. Now, how to pronounce a? Then? We've got a for apple. Apple is done. But how to pronounce a? A could be a ki kocho. All right. Okay then. There are numerous names which have A like A Sha, right? So that's how you can pronounce A and A. So A for apple, apple is done, A is done. Now, another thing. We might pronounce the letter B as B. But when we are using it in our sentences and words, we are going to use B. B. It's basically your mouth is shutting and B. A burst of air is coming out. Okay? So the similar or equivalents are B in Hindi, you can see, and B in Bengali. So what else? Let's try a few difficult words or words which people tend to misunderstand and then we can go into grammars or okay then we'll go into grammar with uh, verbs of time place and etc okay so we have done a for apple b for b bat then ball now when you're saying ball what is it like the b is there and then the next letter is a and i told uh, taught you that it's a then why not ban right why not ban exactly there are certain things in english that you have to start learning by heart you have no other option because if you try to learn it theoretically, then you have to learn an entire this thick book. And 
I don't think it's possible to learn those many rules and regulations. So the best option that I can tell you is watch lots of movies, <laughs> watch movies, listen to songs and podcasts. Those should do because usually the basic sense of words and the basic sense of how to put it in sentences comes from them. But let's look for other pronunciations and make it shorter, right? So let's start with A then. So for A we found one is A for apple. What else is there? Another is A. Uh. Suppose you're using it in a sentence. You can use it as A as well as A. Uh. Like, all right. Mm. You use a in before a common noun, uh, before a constant, a consonant, and you use an before a vowel. So, what are vowels and consonants? Vowels are a, e, i, o, u. Now, I'll go into the pronunciations of these letters in various words later, but the vowels are a, e, i, o, u. And the rest of the letters are known as consonants. So, if you notice that in the vowels, it's always the letters start with a W. Okay? Like A, your mouth is open. E, your mouth is open. I, your mouth is open. O, obviously it's open. U, your mouth is open. So, basically, in vowels, you're using your mouth in an open form, A, E, I, O, U. Basically, you don't have to shut your mouth while saying it, see? A, E, I, O, U. I never shut my mouth. Okay? That's the way you have to learn. So, in front of vowels, you have to use an, that is A, N. And when you're using a, uh, when you have a constant in the word, you have to use an A. So, let's begin. Uh, suppose it's elephant, an elephant. So you got E. Elephant. 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 Here, fint is coming. P H A N T. So why is it so small in fint? Elephant. While uh, these things would be taught in a different way if you're in nursery because you're just starting to learn English and you have lots of time. But since you're learning it later and you're learning it for a specific purpose, I wouldn't suggest you to learn in that way. I'll have to tell you other ways of learning which can help you boost up your knowledge. So in elephant, it's fit. And here the A is pronounced as int. int. It's a small I. Okay? So, uh, so we found A and A and A. And then suppose let's look for other words in A like animal. It's another A. Then antidote, anti de antidote, antidepressant, then um, anesthesia. So mostly you'll find that A is being used whenever it's used as the first letter of a word. Yes, the first letter of a word. Then you'll see that it's usually going by the sound A. But there are a few exceptions. Like some proper nouns where there are a, a na make up, suppose, or a nushka, or aerial. In that word, a is being used directly, aerial, or atmosphere. Some people put it as atmosphere. That's Indian pronunciation. But if you're trying for UK pronunciation, then you have to go for atmosphere. It's no longer atmosphere. Atmosphere 
would be easy for the people who are just learning because they can break it up as at, moss and fear. But if you're trying to put it together, it's atmosphere. It's no longer atmosphere. And then we went through using A in the middle of a word. We went through using A at the beginning. So now we can do B. So B. To be me. <laughs> Here, B is being followed by E. So, they both have a E sound. Like E. So, B, E and E. Just B and E. So, the overall pronunciation of the word is also B. Then, we can add another E behind it. It becomes a honey. B. Then, best. B is there. But here, if you notice... B, B is followed by an E, but it's not getting the sound B. It's getting the sound B. It's getting the sound B. B. Okay? Why? Because it's being followed by S and T. It's not just B and E. It's B, E, S, T. So it's getting best. B. Best. B. Next. Better. Here as well. It's B and E, but it's being followed by double T E R. Better. 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 Here, let's point out a few things. Double T has got a slight bend. Like when it was just best, you're ending the word with t. t, t. But when you've got better, you're putting it as Et, 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 et. It's like when it was just T, it was this. And when it is T, T, it is T, T. Suppose you have a ball and single T will be like this. And, well, and this is the ground. So single T will be like this. And double T will be like this and this. So, in these two parts, you are pronouncing bet, bet, t, bet, t, bet, t, bet, t. I hope that was easier to understand. Then we can go for tougher words like unscrupulous. I'm using this word. Not because I want to show you there are numerous words in English. But because in this word you have numerous bends. So it can help you understand how to pronounce those bends. So un. Un we can take another example. Umbrella. Umbrella. Umbrella is an umbrella. So um. U. M. B. R. E. Double L. A. Brella, as I taught you, double T, double L, any sort of double letters is this, this, and this. So, umbrella, you've got a, 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 then unscrupulous, un, un, a, it's again a, then unscrew, screw, you can say. S C R E W screw or S C R U. In this case, since it's a complex word, I won't explain why the letters are like this in this video. That will be for another video. So unscrew. You can just put it simply as S C R U screw. Screw. S C R E W screw is the ones we use in nuts, bullets, and Put them in the walls. So they both sound same. S C R U is the same sound as S C R E W. If you notice that E W, ew, right? We often say ew, it's so smelly, stinky. So 
you can say that EW is not just EW. It can be equivalent to U. Screw, screw, screw. And S-C-R-E-W, screw. E-W, ew. Screw. And U. E-W, U, U. U, U. There is a slight extra of E in EW, which is not there in U. So that's how you can find out the smaller things or details in difference between EW and U. Why they both are different. Now, we're done with EW and U. Unscrew is done. Q-less. Q, P, U. Just the, just the same way as I taught you. S, C, R, U. It's P, U. P, U. And less. A very good example will be the soap. Lux. <laughs> but it's, you can uh, remove the X. It's la, less. You can use O, U, S. Unscrew pure lus. L O U S. But what would be the pronunciation if it was just L U S? It would be loose. Just the same way as L U C Y is Lucy. It would be L U S would be loose. So that it doesn't become just loose, we would add another O, which is unscrew pure L O U S. Loves. If you uh, break the pronunciation, it sounds like loves. But when you put it properly, like when you say it in the speaking sense, it becomes unscrupulous. O and U becomes us. Next, that gives another thing that why is US not us and just us? Just the same way as I taught you, Apple is not just A P P L E, it's A P P L E. So it's us. Next, words with letter C. Cats. You're just putting both your tongue and the uh, at the back of your uh, throat and just trying to put out some air. Okay, it's cat or Chicken. Now, why is it not chicken? Right? Why is it not that? It's because H is just. So, in C, you are already trying to put out some air, not much. That's why the tongue was touching your upper throat. But when you're adding another H, it's basically a signal that you have to put out more air. So, it was first and now it is so it's chicken ch 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 c h is ch you'll find some words which will have double h after c but that will only add more air the basic pronunciation is the same that's the reason that you'll find numerous similarities between american english and uk english Now, C is done, and D, D, dog, 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 you're pushing out a little bit of air from your mouth, mouth cavity, it's dog, right, a little bit of D, then mad, Suppose you say the word mad, it's out, little bit of air. D works with a little bit of air. D, D, dumru, dumru, or dab, dab, da, 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 it's the same as D, equivalent. Nothing can be same in this word, but it's equivalent. Then, E. Remember I taught you about you? 
Ew, it's so stinky. Stingy. Peaky. P-E-E-K-Y. Now, so E, just the way it sounds, it's normally used as E in pronunciations. But in some cases, it can be used as E. Like an elephant, I taught you. Now, E then, F. Have a look. Fan. Fan. The way you put your mouth is also uh, uh, very important because it affects your pronunciation very much. So, fan, 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 or fat. You're not fat. Yeah, great just the way you are. Then, fan, fantastic, fellow. No matter what is in the rest of the word, F is done as Now, E is done F, D, E, F, G. G for Gayatri! <laughs> okay. Um, G is girl. 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 You can put your hand over you. You can hug the hand. You can hug your vocal cord is vibrating very fast. Say G, G, G. So the vibration goes from here to here. Here to here. It can take a vibration shuru hai, it can do it. Okay? G, goat, guy three, guy, goru. <laughs> so that's for G. Now, H was done. Her, hen, chicken. Now, D, G, H, I, I. I, 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 the big single letter word. I. Oh, this is worthy of making another video out of I. But, well, I. When you're pronouncing I, you can say A, 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 E, E, E. How would you pronounce a word? Which is written as A A A E E E I. You would say this, right? So I is basically a short form of A A E. So it can be said as I. I am a little girl. I am a little girl. I. I'm not a little. I'm 19 now. So it's I. It's I, I, uh, when it's used in the middle of a sentence or a middle of a word, oh, I, well, daikin, daikin, I, I, so there are two I's, daikin, D-A-I-K-I-N, now, daikin, here you have di, i, kin, i, 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 i. Now, the difference between the two is, e and i, i. The both, the, they both can sound like i. But one major difference, when you're using it as e, it's a prolonged e but when you're using i for the sim similar sound it's a smaller one daikin 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 or almira 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 okay chimni chim chim i is in chim so whenever you using e it has a slightly prolonged e and when you're using I, it has a smaller I. So, now, I, J, Jam, DJ. That's the best example that most people will understand. DJ, Jockey, J. Yeah. 
J. Mocking J. <laughs> so, J. 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 More, uh, there are many people who say, uh, they try to put it as J A Y. J. Or some say J. Just J. J E. J. 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 Okay. J. K. K can be put as. Lotus, Lota, Lo, 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 Like, Lo. Basically, the lips will change according to the words, but the basic L is L, 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 L. J K L M, M for money, M for. Master, M for man, M for lots of words. So basically, it's M, M. Now, uh, let's find a word which has N in between. Emma, 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 Emma. As I said, double M, M, Ma. M, ma, M, ma, M, ma, M, ma. Now, M is done. M, N, N, cunning, cunning, cunning. Oh, oh. Mind you, O can look a lot like zero whenever you're using it in your phone. I get confused at times. <laughs> so, O, when it's used as double O, it can become O, like hoop, loop. They both are H double O P and L double O P. So, they both can become O, 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 O. And when you're using just one O, it's just O, O, O H, O, then O, mm, orange, O, O can also become O, orange, Osmanthus, O, O, it can become O, it can become O, it can become O, when you're using two O's. Now I'm a P, P for pants, P, 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 P. Try doing this just first, and then just blow some air. P. See, that's how it's say. And then papaya, papaya. It's quite simple. You just saying P. P. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Yay. <laughs> Q. Queen. Q. Yeah. So Q is like Amra Amade Banglati or Hindi te Ache. Yeah. I might be good in Hindi, but like I'm self taught. So, about Hindi, I have forgotten a few complex letters. I mean, what they are called. But I don't know what they mean and how are they sound. So, it's... I'm using the Bengali versions then. Pet Kata Mudhe Or... Pet Kata Mudhe Nasha is called. Pet Kata Mudhe and 
got letters or it's done this right or brahmo hoy moy hoy moy is also done this way brahmo right toyo phula or it's this one is in hindi tro hindi they do it this way this is tro and in bengali it will be toyo phula this way now just the same way it's i have put it in these two languages so that it's easier to explain that it's basically a combination of other letters to form this unique letter which helps us from making words too long because the uh, if the words are too long you'll forget what you were writing and concentrate more on the word so q is something like that k i e u q k u k i e u q now try pronouncing q q k i e u q just q that's more like a broken form of q k i e u q r r basically it's you're taking an r r taking and then giving a little bit and then you have a r r r r and a in the beginning so you can say r is not just r it's a r now s e n s s t is just t s silly snake shoulder books It's basically all used during the hissing sounds. And here is T. Table. Top. It's always. It's always T. U. U is just like a dot. U. 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 U was done. Yeah. U. W. Here is the U V V V V V V V V V van V room. It basically mixes up with the sentence and the word, so you can just you don't have to be tensed about it. You have to just go with the flow. It's like uh, room can be said as V plus room, right? So it's room and just add a V V room. that simple you don't have to think too much for using v or last few letters like p s t u i've taught you before because u has a few things that you have to remember v is done here is u v w w u w u basically w is nothing but w in bengali you don't have w so amra use kori o and on to stood O, O, and on to stood O. It is the how wa 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 W has the same pronunciation as wa how wa how ya. We write it as how ya, but pronounce it as how wa. Same goes for uh yeah. In Hindi we use how wa, so it's it slightly changes with the language. It's no longer W then. It's used as V and a slight tinge of W. Next, mm, X. <laughs> Those of you like to have boyfriends and girlfriends, you can always have X's. Too many X's, or I'm just kidding. So it's an X. X A X E. So it's always and this. X, X. So what can it be like? E C S. E C S can be like X. If you see the way it's written in cursive, 
it's written as this, this, and this. It's like one C is going in and another C is going out. So, it's like C is going in and C is going out. So it's E C S X. My logics might be a little difficult to understand because I like to find out more and deeper into anything that I learn. So, this video is the first video for teaching you how to pronounce basic words by few tips and tricks about the letters that these are the letters so you have to use a or an or the the when you have one thing of that kind like suppose i have got only one teddy bear which is of six feet left what will i say i'll say baba i call my father baba so i'll say baba where uh, where is my where is the six feet teddy I can say it like that. Of of course, it's informal. It's not a formal way of saying. So I can just put it as Baba, where is my six feet teddy? Or where is the six feet teddy? Because he will automatically know that there is only one teddy which is six feet. And there you can use the. So basically, it's an example to show that the is used only uh, for specific cases. Like the only guy three strategy in my house is me. So I can be referred to as the Gayatri of the house. Or there is only one Bella, the Labrador, in my house. So I can just say the Bella of the house. Or the sun is rising, rising in the east, setting in the west. There is only one west, there is only one east. There is only one sun. So I hope I have been able to help you with words, pronunciations, and how to use a, an, and the in this video. Catch you in the next. Take care.